seeing myself as Marilyn was really overwhelming. It was uh, very emotional because I had just been working for maybe nine months at, the, at that point. And um, the first time I tried, you know, the, the main wig, would say, um, with full on makeup, it was, I mean, <laughs> I started crying. My hair and makeup team started crying. <laughs> Everyone was very excited and, and it was a beautiful moment like and 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 it felt like kind of like it, it all became real we're we're doing this this is happening and and it's so scary but so beautiful at the same time so your mind needs to have this four days yeah. so it should be like a three two one and once the one Oh no, it must be awfully strange to be a, well, a hero. That's what they are. Move in, should be slow. Raged it and then bursting into tears, as opposed to tears and then rage. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Enormous. What's it? You look fraught. That way a tiny bit to the bottom. With Marilyn Monroe, it had to be faithful. It was so important to really give homage to those great designers that had designed so many beautiful and iconic costumes for Marilyn. And it was my job to make sure that I did those designs justice and that, you know, with her iconic movie costumes and in her private life, that her costumes felt like so many images we've grown up looking at. The first time I saw Anna fully as Marilyn, I mean, it was incredibly exciting because it was like, oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> um, and I think as a hairstylist in this industry, that's like one of my favorite parts of the job is finally getting to that mm. point and all the puzzle pieces come together, You've got hair, makeup, costume, the set, the background, the cast, all there and you, you just step back and you're like wow it all came together and it mm. happened and it's good. <laughs> Yeah. I see you. Yeah. You know what I mean? There you are. Every time I see her, every time I drive around LA and I see her, you know, um, it's always meaningful to me in, in some way. It's like, it's like a star exploded, right? It's like a star exploded and there's dust of her everywhere, you know? It's like the dust of her is still, it's still with us today. You know, um, it's interesting, you know, they call them stars and stars, the light of stars reaches us after the star is extinguished, 
you know. Now I'm sure it's not why the reason why they called them stars, you know what I'm saying? But, um, but that's what she is. Her light reaches us. Literally, it's the light of her that reaches us after she's long gone.